Buenas noches. Okay. Hello, class. Good evening. Hi. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Uh, a little sad. Why is it? Uh, some bad things happen at work today, so. Yeah, really? Oh, no. So... I can imagine, you know, sometimes it is a little bit hard, you know, yeah. whenever you have those type of problems at the workplace. But don't worry, don't worry. I really hope eh, it can get better, you know. <laughs> so let's wait for your classmates. I already have Doris. Hi, Doris. Now we can see you, Doris. Hi. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Today is fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Let's see. Okay. I'm just expecting to have at least five students so we can start with this class, okay? Okay. Did you check WhatsApp? No chequeado WhatsApp, chicos. ¿Alguien habrá avisado que no va a estar presente? No, right? Uh, I have, you know, in my case, I have a lot of uh, chats, tengo muchos grupos, you know, so sometimes it is quite difficult to go and check each of them. Freddy dice no. No, right? No, nadie. Son otros grupos. Este no ha presentado a nadie. So let me see. I already have William. Hi, William. How are you? Hi. Good evening. Good I'm evening. Good. You're good. Okay. Genesis is in the class already. Hi, Hannah. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? You're good. I'm good as well. Um, yeah. Let me see. Say something. Madeline and Jocelyn. They are in the class already. Hello, me. Hello, Madeline. Hello, Jocelyn. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi. Diego is in the class. Hi, Diego. Hi. Okay. okay, I guess Fernando is there, but he's on his way home. Okay, so it is time to start already. Um, I'm really happy to see you again, you know, time flies because I feel like if it was today, the last class, you know, but it was yesterday, but I don't know, time flies. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? Sorry, I'm getting home and maybe I will, will turn out when I, I get home. Okay, that's all right. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. So class, what class is this one? Is this class number one, class number two? What class is this one? I'm class number three, I guess. It's class number three, right. What we were discussing yesterday? Yesterday we were discussing about four different concepts, definitions. Do you remember? Yes. Yes. Do you? Okay. Yes. Which were they? Uh... Cultural stereotypes, yes. inclusion, yeah. misconceptions, and? Um, and ethnicity. Ethnicity, right. So in today's class, we are going to have four different concepts. You know, we're gonna be discussing about like similar situations that, the, that like the ones that we had yesterday, but with different concepts, you know? So the topic for today, this is class number three, 
we are going to be discussing about strategies concerning cultural diversity, right? So this is class number three, advanced number two. So if you want to take yeah. notes about the topic that we're going to have today, this is the one, okay? Okay, yeah. Strategies concerning cultural diversity. I really like this topic, you know? I wish, you know, my boss and people from human resources they could take those this type of you know uh, conversations and topic at my workplace because yes you know they don't really care about people sometimes you know so mm -hmm. i really hope that you with this type of topics you can you know uh, can express or can try to discuss this type of topic at work or try to uh, include this type of strategies at work, you know? This is like the main purpose. So we can learn about this type of topics, we can discuss about the strategies, and then we can implement this type of strategies at work, okay? So before we move on, let's have an exercise. An exercise so you can practice pronunciation, you know? Everybody is going to participate in this activity. What do we have here? A tongue twister. A tongue twister, you know? I was looking for an advanced tongue twister and I got, you know, a lot of results. But I really like this one because it's a short tongue twister and we can practice, you know, pronunciation. So take a look at this. We have one. Uh, two different questions you now, and we have similar words that are pronounced in the same or similar way. So it says, do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper, okay? So everybody is going to try reading this tongue twister as fast as possible. Do you think <laughs> we can do it? Do you want to try yeah. it? Yeah, right. Let me yeah. see how many students do I have. 12 students already. So let me say hi to David. He's already there. So, and Jarvin and Erwin as well. So welcome. Welcome, guys. We are going to start this class by having this practice. Let's go. Let me see. What am I going to do? I'm going to pick one of you and you're going to pick who is going to participate, you know, after you, right? And we're going to be picking classmates randomly, okay? So they can participate as well. So who's ready? Let me have just one volunteer so he can start or she can start with okay there we go so david is going to be the first one i really want you to try with this one saying this as fast as possible david go ahead i know you the can first times and low teacher okay okay Okay, do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper, paper or pepper. Which is cheaper? I want pepper or paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Wow. That, okay. Fue eso lento o rápido? Because for me it was <laughs> fast, you know? So, do you want to try the second time? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? This is cheaper. I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Okay, okay, class. Vamos a usar los virtual, virtual eh, reactions that we have here. Let me see. Everybody. ¿Cuánto piensan que le damos? One, from one to five. No, from one to ten. How much can we give? Is that a 10? Is that a nine? nine? What do you think? Nine? Really? Do you think he can do it better? No. <laughs> no? no. Okay, because for me, he got a great pronunciation. It was faster. So, David, who is going to participate? 
the next one. Yeah, please. Pick one of your uh, classmates. I see Diego. Diego. Okay, Diego. Let me look for Diego. Diego, are you ready? Yes, Diego. I'm here. Okay, go, please. Go ahead. Okay, let me see. Uh, do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper, then paper. What do you think, class? Very good. Okay, very good. Is that an excellent? Very good. Good. Do you want him to try it again? Let me listen to you. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so once again, just last time, go please. Okay, let me see. Uh, Jasmine. Okay. Jasmine, are you ready? Jasmine, I know she's ready. <laughs> okay, she's practicing right now. Okay, uh, do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper, paper or pepper? which is cheaper. I want pepper, not paper. Pepper is cheaper than paper. Okay, class. Excellent, good, not so good. Excellent. 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 Yes. Excellent. Yeah, right. That was excellent and very fast, right? So Jasmine did a great job. Jasmine, who's next? Uh, 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 Genesis? Genesis. Okay. 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 Um, <clears throat> do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Okay, class. Excellent. Good. Not so good. Try it again. Excellent. 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 Yes. Okay. Very, very good. She did it great. Okay, excellent. Genesis, who's next? Um, I'm going to pick. Uh, Erwin. Erwin. Give it a try, please. Erwin. Okay. Yeah. Do you want the paper? No. <clears throat> Sorry, teacher. Relax. Relax. Paper or paper? People. People or paper? Paper or paper? Which cheaper? I want people, no paper. If people is cheaper than paper. Okay. Pepper, pepper, right? Pepper. pepper. Do you know the meaning of pepper? What is this? Class? Uh, pimienta. Uh -huh, pimienta. Pimienta of? Yes. Chile. Papel. Oh, papel, Chile. you know? It doesn't make sense in Spanish. Ah, pimienta o papel. O papel. Do you uh, want no, 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 right? no, muy bien en español. No, in, it's not in Spanish, right? Uh -huh. Pero sí en inglés para la pronunciación. So, pepper, pepper. So, Erwin, once again, do you want? Paper or paper? Go ahead. Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper, 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 paper is cheaper. I okay. want not paper. I'm sorry. Paper or paper? Paper is paper is cheaper than paper. Okay, relax, relax. This is just practice, you know, so we can start with the class. Okay, class. Excellent. Good. Very good. Do you want him Very to try good. Again? Very good. Very good, teacher. Yes. Okay, excellent, everyone. Tomorrow or in the middle of the class, we are going to have another one. So don't worry. So you can practice again. Erwin, pick one of your classmates, please. Uh, Jarvin. Okay. Okay, hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Go, please. Hi. Okay. Do you want paper or paper? Pe paper or paper? Paper or paper? What is cheaper? I want paper, no paper. If paper is cheaper than paper? Okay, class. But is this paper Excellent. or pepper? Pepper. pepper. It's pepper. 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 Okay, let's pepper. repeat again. Pepper, 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 pepper. Okay, okay. one more time, Jarvin. Pepper. Okay. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or, or pepper? What is cheaper? I want pepper, no paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Okay. Excellent. Good. Very good. What is your opinion? Excellent, teacher. Excellent. Okay. All right. All right. Jarvin. Who's next? Doris. Doris. I guess she's ready. Go, Doris. Okay. Do you want paper? Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Pepper, paper or peppers? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, no paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Okay. Class. 
Is this an excellent? Good, very good. What is your opinion? Do you want her to try it again? Yes. Do you want paper or paper? Pepper or paper? Pepper, paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, no paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Okay, great job, that is. So that is who is missing? Jessica. Jessica. Let me look for Jessica. Me. Go please, Jessica. I would try. <laughs> I know you can. It's really do it. difficult. Is it? No, I guess not. You can do it. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or pepper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? Which is cheaper? I want pe pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than pe paper. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Janari, okay. Do you want to try it? Second yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Okay, go, please. Go. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper, then paper. Excellent job. Excellent. Janari, Thanks. pick one of your classmates, please. Who is um, Miss? I don't know. It okay, is... let me help you. Madeline. Okay. Who's missing? Madeline. Freddy's, Kenya, Madeline, Jocelyn, Francisco, and William, right? So, you're still missing. Okay, go. Madeline. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you want paper of paper, paper of paper, paper of Pepper, which is cheaper. I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Okay, class. Excellent. Good. Excellent. Very good. Excellent, great. right? Yeah, she did a great job. Go ahead, please. One of your, pick one of your classmates. Who's missing? William. William. I know he's ready. Go, please. Mm. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Class, was this an excellent? Good, very good. What is your opinion, class? Great, great. You did a great, great job. That was excellent, yeah. William. Okay, William. Who is missing? Who is missing? I don't know. Yeah. Um, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Yes, Jocelyn. Okay, I will try. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. Is pepper is cheaper than paper? Okay, that was great. Class, excellent. Good, very good. You can try it again. What is your comment about your participation? Excellent. Excellent, right? She did yeah. great. Excellent, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, who is missing? Freddy's, I guess. Freddy's, he is. He's not participating. Okay. okay. Freddy's, so now you can yeah. go. Okay. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Okay, that was great. Great pronunciation. Freddy's. Yeah. Pick one of your classes. The last one. <laughs> I think it's the last. I, I guess we're still missing two. Let me see. How about Kenya, right, class? Telma is already in the class. <laughs> oh, let's go with Telma then. Okay. Okay, Yes, John. yes. Good evening, teacher and guys. Okay. Telma, go please. And then Kenya. Right now? Okay. Hello. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Okay, tell me, yes. Go ahead, please. Oh. Try. Okay. You want paper? <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't Do you worry. want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. 
Okay. Class, do you want him to try that second time? Yes? No? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Go ahead, please. I know you can do it faster. Okay, I try. Okay. Do you want do you want pepper of pepper? Pepper of pepper, pepper of pepper, we should be we cheaper. I want pepper of pepper, not pepper. If pepper is cheaper than pepper. Okay, okay. Pe great. Paper. <laughs> <laughs> paper, paper, paper. No, don't worry. Yeah. These are yeah. similar sounds. So pepper, yeah. paper. Very good. Yeah. The last one. Who's the last one? Very good job. Yes, let me see. Kenya, right? How about Francisco? Kenya and Francisco? Hello. Okay, go please. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper, which is cheaper? I want paper, not, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Okay, okay. Great job and great pronunciation. Thank you. So class, do you want to try with a different one? Because this was a um, intermediate one. I was looking yeah. for advanced one. So in the middle of the class, if we have time, if not tomorrow, we are gonna have a different one. So right now I'm gonna be checking the attendance list. Please do not forget to have your cameras on. And I'm gonna be checking the attendance list in this month, okay? Vamos a ver. Just let me look for it. Just give me a second. Can I can I just go get water? No worry. I'll be right back. Right back. Okay, okay. Let me see. Where is it? I guess that. Okay, Andres, Giovanni, Valdivieso, Portillo. Oh no, he asked for permission. Now I can't remember. Ya me acordé. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Eso te quiero. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. No. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Eso te quiero. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Here, teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Genesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. She's there. Harpin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Okay. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present teacher. Selma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay, great job. So class, it is time to start with the topic for today. If you see, and if you remember yesterday, we were discussing about four different concepts and we were giving opinion about uh, this type of concept, right? So, uh, uh, okay, I need you to go to your student's book, to your material, because we're gonna be working in four different concepts, you know? So we're going to do similar activities as the ones that we did yesterday. Look, this is the one from yesterday. So we're going to be moving to a different one for today. Go to page number 10 and we're going to do a similar activity. I need you to go online 
to get the definitions, you know, to find out more about the key terms that we have on page number 10. They are related to strategies concerning cultural diversity in the workplace. Let me show you the ones that we're gonna be working in this moment. Melting pot, demographic, sexual orientation, and disability. Remember, I'm not looking for examples, just the definition of these key terms because we're gonna be discussing and giving some examples about this one, right? This is on page number 10. So I need you to go, go to Google, get the definitions because I already got them before the class. And we are going to be comparing the definitions, right? Let me create the group so you can discuss with your classmates about this definition. This is going to be the first activity for today. Let's make four different groups. Go with your classmates and try to compare the definitions. What is my idea? We are going to be working in groups of four. So you can look for one specific term. Uh, let me see. No, cuatro, grupo de cuatro. Mm. I have groups of four and one group of five. So, cada uno busque una definición, okay? We have Remember, four. teacher, I, I am two. Sorry. Ah, it's because of that, right? Yes. I know, but they be... Okay, voy a hacer un cambio. Just give me a second. A las tres. Okay. So there we go. Each of you is going to look for a specific definition. We have four key words for this exercise. Go please. Hello, teacher. Sorry, my my internet was down. Really? Okay, let me yes. take you to a room. Vamos a ver. Kenya, let me send you to room number two. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. How about you, Doris? Go with your classmates, okay? Or are you having internet connection problems? I'm going to look the graphic. Okay. Okay, I gonna I gonna search about the sexual orientation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And me okay. disability. Nothing thought. Okay. Okay.
I send you the definition. No, the there are four. Oh, okay. Yeah, there are four. And disability. I'm gonna look for the first and second one. Uh, okay. okay. I'm gonna look for the third one. And me the last one. Hi. Hi, teacher. So, Hi, teacher. Hi. You know, whenever I come to the rooms, I try to come like, you know, like Inside in the eyes, way. you know. <laughs> you always notice that I'm here. <laughs> but yes. the, the the problem is that uh -huh. the, you uh, you come with the with the record. Yeah. The English <laughs> <laughs> This That's is why this I... is the tip. <laughs> okay, sexual orientation. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. we are looking for the concept now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we are putting them in the in the chat group. Okay. And then we integrate of them. That's that's all right. In that yep. way, everyone knows about the other concept. Yeah, right, because we can find different like definitions. Yes, yes. And at yes. the end we're gonna get like just a general idea, or we're going to create a definition, you know. So did you think? Yes. Um, so, so. <laughs> okay, so don't worry. I'm going to give you extra time so you can think. Okay. Okay. So, um, so we already have the melting pot, the sexual orientation and the demographics. The only thing we're missing is- Do you have all of, all of them? Wow. I'm, I'm reading here that it, it is also the statistical characteristics of human populations used specially to identify markets, it says, like age or income. So I, I think that it's more of a, a statistical measurement for different cultural characteristics of human populations. Like when you're trying to identify uh, a, a very specific, um, I mean, target or market for, and, and then you check these demographics, which are statistical characteristics. 
so you can get to know the culture or the population that you are aiming your product towards. Um, I think I yes, need to. Right. That's the correct I... definition, yes. So just do me a favor. If you got a definition, can you copy and paste and share the definition in the chat? Here, at Zoom, Zoom. Oh, okay. Yeah, please. So as you were looking, one specific definition, each of you, right? So do the mm -hmm. same. So we can have like that information and your classmates can compare the definition they got. So at the end, we are going to create a final definition for each of the key terms, okay? Okay. Do that right now. Okay, so okay. I got, I looked for melting pot. Okay, great, great job. I will copy. Hi, I'm, I'm looking, looking at it in on my cell phone, but Oh, really? So, yeah, don't, don't you worry. Copy. If you cannot do it, don't worry. Because at the end, I guess your classmates, they are going to do the same. So if you cannot do it, don't worry. But if one of your classmates can help you out doing this, it's going to be, okay. you know, very helpful. But if you cannot, don't worry. How do you, how do you, how do you send a, a text message? Ah, oh, no, no, forget it. I, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I don't I know, you know, I have never been, you know, in a, in a meeting with myself. Uh, how did you do it? Uh, there is an option that, that is called chat. Okay. <laughs> because I'm always using my laptop, so I don't have. Yeah, laptop. me too. Yeah, right. so. yeah, I don't know how to use it. So I got but, job. But, uh, there's my the definition that I found for okay. Pot. okay very good I think um Freddy's has the one for demographics right yeah but actually I was looking at a uh, diction for but um the definition is like two Hi guys, did you finish? Did you find all the definitions? I don't you... understand very well melting pot. Ah, yeah, no, right. No, teacher. <laughs> but I got yeah. the definition, you know, melting pot. Mm -hmm. So don't worry, if you don't have like a specific idea about melting pot, I'm gonna give it the real definition at the end. Remember that we are talking about the workplace or we are referring to a country or a specific population. So melting pop. ¿Qué será un melting pop? ¿A quién le llamamos melting pop? That, that is idea. So please, if you got the definition and you can copy and paste and share the definition here in the chat, Zoom, not WhatsApp, right? So your yeah. classmates can look at the definition and compare. Try to do it right now. So we can have like a very big um, list of definitions, right? So do it right now, please. I'm okay. gonna be looking to the definitions later on. Okay. Fernando, Fernan was Fernando in this group? No. No, All right, so I don't know. Fernando otra vez se unió en la clase. Fernando Ernesto. Okay, so thank you. I'm going to give you some extra minutes so you can finish with this activity, okay? Okay, thank you. Thanks. Hi guys, did you finish? Hi, Fernando. Hi, Hi. I, I just uh -huh. get home right now. Okay, so don't worry, you know, we are looking for is some definitions, but I guess your classmates, they did it already, right? Did you finish, guys? Uh, I remember that the definitions are in the book, those are in the book now. Not really, you need to go, yeah, this one, these are the ones. Melting pot, uh, graphic, yes. sexual orientation and disability. So okay. you need to go online, go to Google, try to get the definition. 
but oh, okay. you know. Mm -hmm. So in the case of Madeline, Kenya, and Jocelyn, if you already got the definition, and if you can go and copy and paste the definition and share the information here in the chat, please do it. So we can have different definitions. And at the end, your classmates, they are gonna be able to take a look at the definitions. So please do it. I'm going to give you some extra minutes so you can complete this activity, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, did you find the, the meaning of those words? Someone? Just in mm -hmm. Kenyan Mandarin? Can you repeat your, your question? Did you find the, the concept? We are already in the chat. Yes, we already. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, discussion time. So we can compare the definitions. Discussion time. Very good job. Did you find all the definitions from the vocabulary? Four different words, four different key terms for this activity. Yes. You did. So now let me ask you, what comes to your mind when I say melting pot? Melting pot. What comes to your mind when I say melting pot? What is this about? Melting pot. It's something like a, a pan or a, a, mm -hmm. to make a soup. You put everything. Ah, okay, okay. And mix all them together. <laughs> mix. I really like that. Mix all together. Okay. Who else? Melting pot. Do we have a definition um, in, the, in the chat? Yeah. Yes, I we think... have a definition. Yes. Let me see. Huh? Yeah, I think um, looking at the definition, mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a place where many cultures and many people from different yeah. places co uh, converge and they coexist. And with uh, in the every day activities their cultures completely melt together and they create something new like for example uh, in the united states uh, they we well they have many cultures living together like they have the chinese people and the native americans or and latin americans and and they all have different uh cultures and and when they're living together like they become this new culture that coexist together, I guess. That's right, and a great example, you know, the same that I got, you know? So melting pot. So is your workplace a melting pot? What do you consider about your workplace? Do you face or do you interact with different cultures, people from different places or from different countries? with different ideas, well, it, value? It, in our condition, uh, like uh, teachers, uh, uh -huh. we 
we, we work with the teenagers. Okay. Teenager is okay. a different culture. Yeah. And uh, you are uh, older people. Uh, there are uh, younger teachers too. Okay. <laughs> there are uh, something like three or four generations. Okay. And uh, it's uh, completely a melting pot. Of, uh, you need to understand the, the teenagers. <laughs> You need to, to understand them because uh, you are the, the, the adult in the, in the relation. Mm -hmm. You need exactly. to understand them and uh, you need to uh, take some of the, of the, the patterns of, of, of uh, uh, how, how do you say uh, behavior? Yes, mm -hmm. behavior is okay. Yes, okay. Something like that, and, and you need to, to mix them and to adapt to, exactly. to this. Exactly. So you yes. see, that is your experience based on a teacher's experience working with teenagers. So he can say that he is working in a. ¿Cuál es la expresión no, que usamos? ¿Cuál es la expresión pop. that we in a melting pop? Yes. Who else pop, wants to is, share? Is, is it something like like an idiom teacher? Because melting pop is another thing, but you apply them to a social group or to a cultural group. Yeah, in this case, it is related to different cultures, different people, different ages, yes, different, different ideas. ideas. So yeah, it's a yes, melting. we are talking in the in oh. the in the break room about that. Yeah, right. Many different religions, different religions backgrounds, exactly different backgrounds. things. There we yes. go. There we go. So who else can share? his or her experience about the workplace? Well, in our workplace, like yeah. culturally speaking, there's not that much diversity. Okay. What we do have is a diversity of professions and we all have to understand and work together. Yeah, right. So um, there are lawyers, economists, um, uh, marketing experts, and then there's these uh, accountants and the this diversity, then, right? Yeah. So we all like, oh, the four of us have to make a project and we all want to do it in a different we think way. It should go. <laughs> okay. But, uh, and we have to mix together our ideas. Yeah, right. So we can make one thing together. So, all right. Yes. This is a diversity. Very good job. The last example, last one, please. Melting pot. Melting pot. Different ideas, different religions, different values. You sure I have a question. Does melting pot applies when you're with a, a working on a customer service? Uh, sure, why not? Yes, right, because the customers, they are not all equal, right? Or the same, right? They come from different cultures, backgrounds as well. So yes, it does. So tell us about your experience, Freddy. My experience with melting pot. Yeah, please. Actually, uh, the only experience I... <laughs> Actually, I had experience with um, with black people, with white people, and Mexican people. Let's see, and some Chinese people. Um, they're like, let's say, um, give me a second, my dad is right here. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> the same as here, you know, my dog is just right next to me and I was like, oh my God, she's barking. So, yes, I'm going to give you just a couple of times. Okay. okay, go ahead, don't worry. Okay, um, uh, actually, uh, how I have met 
and this kind of different people that I've seen that um, black people that are like more, more like they don't care of like, like um, how you how you actually greet them or interact with them. They're like, if you know how to hang along with them, they're like more like friendly at the same time. But if you try to, um, I think that could happen with anyone. If you try to get with, uh, close to them or like in the opposite way, like on a bad way, um, mm-hmm. you could have some serious problem with them. Okay. I, used to, I used to have a lot of um, um, black people friends and, um, and I think I, um, they're like, some of them are kind, some of them are mean, but it depends how you, how you hang along with them. Okay. And I used to have before um, some white people, and um, actually, it's, it's uh, two different cultures because um, the white people, they're like more racist. Yeah, right? Yeah. White people, oh, okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, that's how I have interact with, the, with them and have seen the difference. And actually, they I got to know them. They got to know me, and um, okay. And I think uh, I'll, I'll they uh, I learned some of their cultures, and they learned some of uh, Salvadorian culture. Actually, they say that uh, even though if we would talk English, um, they could see that we're Salvadorian because of our accent. <laughs> really? Okay. So, yes, right. I have heard about that before as well, about the accent. So, thank you so much, Freddie. Let's continue. Let's move on. Second one, demographics. What did you get? What is definition? What is the idea? Or what comes to your mind whenever we say demographics? The demographic is related to population. It's okay. related to factor of the population like uh, age, race, sex, okay, yeah. uh, something data about uh, 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 babies, about uh, older people. And uh, all of this information is uh, used for many purposes like, uh, mm, uh, I don't know, marketing or economic uh, yeah. measures or or something like that, but it's the the study of the the demographic and the social group uh, into a society. Okay, there we go. Excellent definition. Sexual orientation. What is this about? Sexual orientation. You can read the definition. Don't worry. That's why we got look for the definition. Read the definition. So you, so your classmates can have this idea. Go please. I know you were looking for the definitions. The ones who were looking for this one, sexual orientation. What, what can you tell me about it? I found a definition that says that it is an enduring pattern of romantic or sexual attraction mm-hmm. to persons of the opposite opposite sex or gender, the same sex or gender, or to both sexes or more than one gender. Or more than one gender, okay. So is a sexual orientation the same as gender identity? No. No. no, 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 it depends. Okay. It, it depends? Yeah, it depends because okay. the person can identify either as a man or a woman, but that doesn't mean that they are attracted to the opposite sex. Ah, okay. So I identify myself as a woman okay. and I prefer, yeah. and I'm attracted to men. But uh-huh. there can be the case that the person identifies themselves as a woman, but is attracted to other women. Okay. There's a case like that in my workplace. 
my co my is a my coworker is a man and he is attracted by a man. Okay, so it's totally different, right? It's yeah, and actually, you have to know how to um work with that kind of person, and really? because because um most of the people they think that when you have a coworker like that is they think that it's like your you have to you have more something with with that kind of people and uh, actually you just a uh, you just like a coworker partner right? because um i get used i get used to uh, like people like ask me or, like do you have something with him i'm like no i'm a man i'm attracted by woman why do you think i like i don't know why they're like that kind they have that every like most of the people have that in their mind so how do we call this class yesterday we were reviewing about this <laughs> a misconception a mess yeah right yes. it doesn't mean that if you're working to a man who is attracted by it, no other men you know you're gonna be like the same as him so yeah it's kind of difficult to work with yeah. a person like that so, you know, people, mostly Salvadorian people are like this. Yeah. So this is something that we need to overcome. And the last one, disability. What is this about? Can you give me some examples about disability? Disabilities, it's plural. A physical or mental condition that limits a person mm -hmm. movements or, wait, let me so see So it's not only physical, right? Yeah. Men or activities. Yeah. Mental. Yeah. Mental. Yeah. Mental. Yeah. Give me some, some examples, please. Examples about disability, physical mm. and mental. Like dyslexia. Dyslexia, dyslexia. exactly. Um, Needing a wheelchair. Okay. Exactly. Handicap. Handicap as well, yes. Yeah. How about mentally? Uh, phobias. Yeah. Right. Obvious. Uh, we were talking in the break room that yeah. I had a boss that he is terrified of going in open spaces. So he has agoraphobia, which is the opposite of claustrophobia. Oh, so he's yeah. terrified of very open wide spaces, very large crowds. So the first time I met him face to face, I was like five feet, five meters away from him. I was like here and he was across the room. Uh huh because he's terrified of being close to people. So he doesn't go outside. If he needs to do his groceries, he go, he sends somebody else from his house. Someone else will buy them. If the cart is broken and needs to be fixed, he gets someone else to take the cart. But he doesn't, he, if he doesn't have to, he doesn't go outside. Really? You know, this yes. is the first time that I hear about that. Wow. That's yeah. quite interesting. Though. Yeah, there's also very... One will think they're ridiculous, but they're there. But this phobias is real. that phobias, for example, there are people that are afraid of Jewish people, and that's a mm -hmm. natural phobia. People that are afraid of American, which is an actual phobia. Yeah. And also, surprisingly, there's a phobia of lo to long words. So you're terrified of seeing and hearing long words. And really? you can't even read them. <laughs> And ironically, is the longest word in Spanish. Which one? It's hipopotomostros <laughs> esquipedalophobia. It has 33 letters in it. <laughs> instead, <laughs> instead, of, instead of, you know, <laughs> having a tongue twister well, at the beginning of the class, we are going to have this one. Hipopo, no, no, I don't, I, I don't yeah. know. Hipopo, no, I can not. Hipopotomostros esquipedalophobia. <laughs> How will you say it in English? Oh, come on. It's actually pretty, it's exactly it's the same thing. Guess, is it, it's, it's, the same it's, the, it's the, like, it's like the medical term for the phobia. Like phobia. The only difference, again, the, right? the, the, only, the, the only difference is the F. It's going to be PH. Yeah, right? PH, right? PH at the it. end. Yeah. That's it. So, well, well, interesting, you know? I learned a new word today great job so let me show you the definitions that i got from the internet as well this is the one 
melting pot. Yes, as Hennessy, she was mentioning. It's a place, but help me out reading so you can practice your pronunciation. Let me have some of the ones who have been participating a lot in this class. Vamos chicos, atrévanse a pronunciar, to practice and to participate. This is all about, you know, participating. Volunteers, no solo los mismos, please. Because I have so many students in the class. Melting pot. I will like to go. Okay, go oh. please. Okay. Madeline, who was the other one? Yes, I mean, go. Okay. okay, sorry. Melting pot, a place where a variety of people, cultures, or individuals assimilate into a cohesive whole. Mm -hmm. As a whole, very good. And look at the example. Can you read the example as well, Jocelyn? Sure. The United States is often described as a melting pot in which diversity, culture, and ethnicities come together to form the rich fabrics of the nation. So, yes, this is all about by diverse cultures and ethnicities come together. You know, as I was mentioning before, we can have, in the case of uh, schools or workplace, you know, different people, different ideas, different values, different religions, you know. So this is like a melting pot. Demographics. Go ahead, please, Madeline. Uh, the ethical characteristic of human population, such as gender, age, and the city, occupation. I don't know how to pronounce senior. Senior, seniority. Seniority, salary, levels, material. Marital or marital, I don't know. And, and family status. So, yes, I guess David he was the one who was mentioning about this. No? Characteristics such as gender. Nice. Gender, you know, there are some workplaces that they do not accept or they do not like having women or they do not like having men, you know. Can you give me some examples? ¿Qué trabajos son bien? En este caso, they don't like to. Or they make that distinction in gender. What comes to your mind? In construction. Construction, right? Yeah. Construction. Actually, nowadays, no. No, actually, you I know, work. my... Some places, right? My boss and is a woman. Oh, so, really? So this is a yeah. great example, yes. But it's true, you know, because I've worked in construction uh, by myself and mm -hmm. it's hard. It's hard to uh, for men to, you know, do what, what we're telling them to do. I have, I had a, an experience where mm -hmm. I had to, to, I hired um, a few workers and okay. And they didn't really want to listen to me. They, they, I told them what to do and they would tell me, no, I don't want to do that. And it was very hard for them to listen to me, but in the end it's possible. And they ended up doing what I told them to, but it's hard. Yeah, I, I, I will admit that it is hard. It is hard, right? So, yes. You know, how about, have you ever heard about the Japanese culture? Japanese culture, you know? Yeah. You know, they, for example, there are like certain type of jobs in which they do not accept women. You know, for example, in schools, the principal, you know, los directores, or even, you know, in, like those type of positions, they don't accept women. Mm -hmm. So I don't really like about that, but you know, this is the way they think about it. How about age? Yeah. What, what do you think about age in the workplace? Do teenagers or, you know, young people, do they have the same opportunities to get a job or the same as elder people? What do you think about it? No, I think it's harder for the it's elder. harder for younger yeah. or for elder people. No, for older people, because, and 
it depends on what what kind of job oh, okay. we're talking about but yeah but mostly nowadays uh the companies are looking for younger people younger and people, yeah. yeah yes you're older than the 40 they don't want to hire you mm -hmm. if you're older than 40 years old the companies don't want to hire anyone so what is your opinion about that people older uh, yeah, for oh, 40, no, I guess sometimes it's even 35 years old, not 40, you know? Yes. So, yeah, but it, de it depends, it depends uh, on, on the, the yeah, the position because there are certain jobs that require a lot of working experience. Yeah. And yeah, you cannot, uh, like 10 years of experience, for example, in my, okay. in my work. Uh, in your work. In the construction, yeah, uh, field, you need sometimes for certain positions, you need more than 10 years of experience. So it depends on the position. It depends, right? You know, it depends. Ethnicity, ethnicity. What comes to your mind when I say ethnicity? Ethnicity is then the, for the, the, the yesterday. <laughs> We are ah, talking yesterday about we were discussing about ethnicity is uh, about the grouping for for their origin their, their exactly. race their cultural right. and the uh, obviously like etnia. We, etnia. We are, yes we are talking about uh, the people that uh, cleaning the bathroom in the airports in mm. the public uh, space in the usa or so in another place or the people who sells hamburger in McDonald's. If you go to Los Angeles and go to McDonald's and the people who are selling hamburger, I was in USA when, mm -hmm. when the president uh, uh, provided to speak Spanish. Ah, okay. And I was talking to a Mexican guy that I like uh, 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 myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I, I, I told him, uh, Dame una hamburguesa, and, and, and the guy, he, 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 he was, uh, 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 they didn't uh, speak, they can speak Spanish, they need to speak English in their, their work because it was a, a problem. So even but, though he understood what you were expressing, yes, yes. he was not allowed. Yes, it's, by the law is for, forbidden and they can, can't speak. Spanish, okay. but but all the people I don't know if in another towns or in another cities mm -hmm. because I I hear about the 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 daughter of uh, Obama that is selling hamburger I don't know oh, where really? yes uh, uh, but uh, in the in, in the place of Los Angeles you only see Mexican guys uh, Salvadorian guys selling oh, yeah. hamburger and another kind of, of thing this is mm -hmm. ethnicity ethnicity okay great example seniority what is this about <laughs> it's very similar to what uh, genesis who was mentioning about this seniority the elder population pero será se refiere a, a to age does it refers to age a edad mm. not or necessarily to experience the age uh, it depends. It depends on the context you're asking about. Okay, it. in a workplace, a quién le llamamos? Ah. To oh, so category. seniority will be in the workplace. Will be uh -huh. the person who has more experience in more the job. More experience, you know, more experience or a yeah, higher so, status, right? That's yeah, someone else. So, for example, um, some companies, that, for example, Toyota, okay. has the policy the policy that they invest in their in their employees. So they have a wage rate the longer you've been in the company. Mm -hmm. So um, so they actually don't leave the company. So they the more time you have in the company, the more you get paid. Wow. Run. So, so you have to do something very, very bad to get fired from Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> So, wow, they really care yeah. about their energy. Yeah. yeah. So, and Toyota has a very particular way of how it works. Mm -hmm. So, for example, everyone is um, 
están sindicalizados. Everyone has a, like a, a union, mm -hmm. have employee union. Every single employee is part of it. And for you to raise within the uh, command chain, you have to be part of it. Okay. Yep. So, so, wow. the old, so the older you are in the company, the more time you have in the company, the more money you make, and like the more, um, let's say, Autonomia. Autonomia. You have. Yeah. Autonomy. So, wow. Interesting. Thank you so much for sharing this type of, you know, specific like uh, example. So, we can have like a different opinion and ideas about what we're talking about. Excellent. Sexual orientation. Who wants to read? Or let me see, let me look for Fernando, go please. <laughs> okay. And the last one, Thelma. Go please. Okay, uh, sexual orientation is about who you're attracted to and who, who you feel drawn to romantically, emotionally, and sexually. It's different than gender identity. There we go, there we go. So what can we say about El Salvador? Do companies, do they really care about sexual orientation whenever they need to hire new people? What is your opinion in El Salvador, sexual orientation? Uh, in, my, uh, in my case, I, I think uh -huh. I, I, I didn't have an experience with maybe a case okay. uh, when, uh, when uh, in the company where I were I was working okay. uh, in my in my background. I, I didn't have an experience like that, but I, I think it depends of the maybe the the CEO or president or the mm -hmm. cultural organization that the, the company has. Because, uh, for example, when you actually you you can view all the social media of the company and you can see uh, a lot of that company uh, on cultural or organizational cultural and you can you can see different people that work, uh, are working there and mm -hmm. maybe uh, sometimes they uh, they uh, post about that topics and you can see oh that that company uh, is uh, the company support the inclusion or the maybe that topic, so you can yeah. you can see on, on social media. It and depends social. of marketing, uh, marketing promotions and something like that. So yeah, so I don't know if you were curious. You know, last month they were celebrating. I guess it's the whole month, right? I don't know if it is like on a specific day, but uh, proud, you know. So I don't know if you noticed there were some companies who they were like advertising or like they have like this distinction they were um, in this case um, how can I say this so apoyan uh -huh. la cultura uh -huh. la, la, la okay la, la comunidad la comunidad uh -huh. esa palabra apoyaban uh -huh. a la comunidad so Vieron algunas companies? Could you identify some companies? Mm. Right? So. On TV, on TV. On TV, right? Yeah, and the logo. El logo cambiado. Pude mm -hmm. identificar, for example, there were so many call centers. Yeah, right. They were, you know, advertising, even or using this, this logo con las, eh, los colores, with the colors, right? Y, También it was, creo que era Domino's Pizza, también vi. They had like this flag. No recuerdo otros. No sé qué, qué más vieron ustedes. Which others did you? ¿Qué vieron? The sexual orientation. So, what do you think, class? If we compare like 10 years ago and nowadays, 2022, so are we open to discuss or to talk about this type of topics, you know? Yeah. We, yeah, right. So how about... Nowadays, um, in the 
I don't know how do you say código de trabajo. Mm -hmm. Is the well the company maybe can have a penalization. Really? Yeah, right. For for the for the discrimination of the gender or the yeah. orientation sexual. Orientation sexual, but you know, not all of the workplaces they accept or they can. Creen mm -hmm. ustedes que todos deberían aceptar or they cannot. For example. If I'm being specific, schools, private schools, what is your opinion? Do they allow people with a different, you know, sexual orientation to come get those type of jobs or not? What is your opinion? They don't think it's usually do it because they think that the kids are going to be like them, mm -hmm. but it is not necessary. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a uh, little unfair. Have... It's unfair. Okay. Because it doesn't, I, yeah. Go doesn't ahead. mean like you, you see that whoever that person is, maybe a woman or man, uh -huh. and they're part of a community, doesn't mean they're going to be preaching about the community to the kids. Mm -hmm. They're there yeah. to teach you uh, social studies or languages or, or math or anything else, but it's not their job to teach you like, uh, oh yes, like Madonna is a symbol of the community. No, mm -hmm. that's not it. What I think they could teach and they should teach if they are, is to be tolerant and accepting of the That's people's right. differences. But I agree. It's not like I'm, it's not like I'm going to teach the whole class to be gay. Like, so that's not something you can teach. Everyone is different. Okay. So what's the problem if the little girl wants to play robots? They never allowed me to play with robots. My brother always got them. Just the because you were a girl. Right? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I like robots, but I like men too. It's not like I'm gay. Like, what's wrong with that? Oh, yes. Imagine. So, I, I do agree with your opinion. Telma, how about the last one? Disability. Okay. Disability is an easy, easy, excuse me, is a basic. No, don't worry. <laughs> Physical. Is a a physical or mental condition that limit a person's movements, sense, or activities. Or activities, yes. We were yes, mentioning, uh, thank you, some of the examples, right? So what is your opinion about this one? The same as sexual orientation, disability. Do people with any type of disability, do they get a chance to come and work at your in workplace relation, or different workplace? Yes, tell me. Yes, in relation in, uh, in the world, there are some discrimination for the okay. for the people with uh, this condition because the company said, oh no, uh, uh, the, the person don't have to uh, X, X, X work or job yeah, or, right. yeah. And then um, company said, says that, mm, no, no, no. Um, they do not I, ha I have a, I, we, we have an uh, opportunity for, for this person. It's, it's true, yeah. It is true, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Right? So it happens. So yeah. you see, it's a great discussion. It's a great uh, topic, you it's know, that we were there. So look at this one. What are we going to do in this as a second activity, you know? Same, we're gonna have four different groups. And I have some questions and some topics that I need you to go and discuss about that specific topic or question with your group. We're gonna be doing the same. Mm -hmm. At the end of the class, we're gonna be presenting, you know, this information. So 
your classmates can Sorry, listen and if they want mm. to you know uh, have like a different opinion or different comments about these topics they are freely to do it number one the question number one group number one what are some examples of cultural diversity in the workplace y aquí va la pregunta how can we promote how can we promote it Group number two, why is it important to hire people with diverse demographics? Acuerdan que la demographic, we already have the definition. Number three, the benefits of disability, diversity in the workplace. And the last one, what are the effects of sexual orientation discrimination in the workplace? What are the effects? So think about possible examples, share your opinion with your classmates, and at the end, we're gonna be presenting this information as a whole class, okay? Is it clear what we're going to do? Yes, right or not? No, teacher? Yes. yes. Okay, I'm yeah. going to be sending this information to WhatsApp so you can take a look at the information and discussing this information with your classmates. Just give me one second. How much time are we going to have? From 10 to 20 minutes, I guess it's okay. And then we come back and present this information to your classmates. Okay, just give me one second. Okay. Okay. So here we go. David, vamos a ponerlo en la misma sala. Here we go. Really can't. Okay, vamos chicos. Time to work. Teacher, but do you need to share the screen? Eh, it's disabled. Okay, ahorita lo comparto. Comparte pantalla, yeah. Now you can. Yes. Oh, thank you. Alguien me ayudó a enviar la picture. Thank you so much. <laughs> So I'm still missing Fernando. Ahí estamos. Diego. Doris in Harvey. Okay, don't worry, Diego. I understand. Don't worry. You can stay here, Diego. Don't worry. You're welcome. Beginning of the beginning. Here in El Salvador, we're uh, seven, seven uh, native uh, groups. Uh, we have uh, Pocomames, we have Chichas, we have Pipiles, we <laughs> have, uh, 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 yes, yes. El Salvador was a, 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 a what mix. is the, the name? A mixed a, a pot was, 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 was the word. In, in all of the European, uh, like it to came to El Salvador and do 
Yes, there are many, many uh, theses about sociology, about uh, uh, paleontology, something like that, based in, in, in El Salvador. There are many people that are uh, from France, from Germany, from England, studying in El Salvador because uh, we have uh, uh, that mix of uh, the, in our society. Uh, we were Lincas, Lincas in the in the part of the 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 east part of El Salvador. In the west part, we have a Pocomames, we have Pipiles, we have Mayas. In the center, we have a, a what I was. It was seven seven groups in a, a little space of El Salvador, and uh, there you if you. See that there are many differences between people from Santa Ana, from people from San Salvador, people from from Chalatenango, people from uh, uh, San Miguel. There are many differences, and we have uh, that kind of uh, diversity of uh, ethnicity, maybe. If you and, see the people uh, from um, from. Um... Like uh, let's say from the east, from the west, that would be the west orient. That would be the west, right? West is occident. Yeah. East is orient. Oh yeah, the, the opposite. In orient, yes. <laughs> have, have you seen that they like they talk different as how we talk? I have a lot of family in Oriente, and they're they're like. Their accent is different. Yes, they, they eat. And they, they have a lot of different words. Yes, uh, uh, words and, and, and food. Uh, the tortilla, la, la tortilla uh, in, in San Miguel is different. <laughs> the, the tamal de lote. Yes, right. Well, in, yes, yes, in my, in my, in my city, uh -huh. in, in Metapan City, uh, the el atol chuco. Uh -huh. atol chuco is sweet, sweet, uh, and uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and if you uh, now, now, uh, obviously now there are uh, they ask you what kind of atol do you want. Mm -hmm. uh, but but in the it's past, in my, in my childhood, only uh -huh. sweet. Sweden. Really? The, the people from San Salvador came to Metapan City and asked for a, an atol chuco. And wow, they, they speed it because they, <laughs> they, they was <laughs> expecting <laughs> something salty. Yeah, right. It was sweet. Salty, yes. And with yes. meat. <laughs> yes. Not sweet. It's something different. And, and they sell, send the, the atol chuco with semita, with something. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> And you you eating in, in, in there is the same the same was in, in San Miguel San Miguel have a, a tolchuco with azúcar yeah in too. San Vicente too yes San yes, yes. <laughs> I had a bad I had a bad experience with a with a burrito ah, okay. San Vicente era burrito and I was expecting to have some hot sauce and actually when I was eating it it was sweet they put ketchup on it. Oh no. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, right. And, and, and uh, okay, we have a we have a, a cultural diversity. And uh, uh, we see in the as we talk with the previous group that the main the main uh, characteristics of the main uh, Yes, it is uh -huh. true. Uh, yeah. And then what is important? What is yes. the most? Uh, um, but I don't know because for me, you have to, to hire people with a similar demography. It depends the, um, the workplace. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, for example, if you if you need uh, uh, people that sell uh, 
uh, pants, for example, for example, you need uh, uh, you need to have a statistic. How many people uh, I need to uh, that uh, that they know about the the item, for example. Yeah, or it's important that that you know what what uh, how many people or what people what kind people you need uh, for the for the sales to dispense, for example. Or or I have a mistake. I'm an error. But what is your opinion, friends? I think that you are in, you are correct because uh, well that um, Erwin said that if the government said that um, that the public transportation have a problem because they don't know how, don't know have the capacity to move uh, x quantity of person. They need to to do a, a like um, uh, like a studio Perfect. because we need Perfect. to. Perfect. Sorry. Yeah. But but the question is, uh, you have a company, okay? Mm -hmm. huh. yeah. I, I understand, just uh, 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 Yeah, uh, we need uh, to know uh, yeah. who kind of person we need to to uh, to focus the product. But no, 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 no. Forget it. The last. But oh, okay. okay. Forget okay. it. Last. Yeah. If you have a company, yeah. Okay. Will you hire personal with Generation X, baby boomers? There we go. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're you right. Me. Are you all serving? <laughs> that is. The point. These people, poor people. Either demographic. demographic. Yeah. Muy bien. Will you do it? Never. Never. Okay. Because in the sabo is a problem. Uh -huh. You have a different person with with diverse diverse. Yes. The diverse. Uh -huh. Diverse. Diverse. But look, let's go back. Se acuerdan aquí está la definición. Look, aquí están los ejemplos. Gender se refiere a diferentes. Género, gender, age, ethnicity, occupation, seniority, salary levels, marital and family status. Esa es la idea. Muy bien, Erwin. Yeah, I, I try to do Compañía, it. contratarían, o por qué es importante? Why is it important to hire people with diverse demographic? Age, gender, family status. ¿Por qué es importante? Why is it important? Se imaginarían, as Erwin is mentioning, to have people from the same age, or do we have, if we have only teenagers in my company, in my workplace, what would okay. happen? ¿Qué pasaría? Imagine. Yeah. Why is it important? Disfrutamos <laughs> eso. Why is it important? Yeah. Get to a okay. conclusion. Yes, go please. Yes, what is your opinion? Tell me. Well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in my opinion, is is it's important because I I need to know what what people that that we need uh, what I need to different area in my work in my in, in my company. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I um. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, the, the, there are, there are, uh, there are company uh, hire all people to, to sales and okay. the sales area. No, no, it's my um, imagine. The sales area is is my imagine for for sell my my 
eat my my eating and then i have i have to hire young people with good presentation yeah and then i have to um to make a, a list um how many people i need with this character correct for the okay. yes mm -hmm. not only not only a good with good experience not only sometimes like ablings when for example when you you say sorry to a person that you you think the person is a has a disability and you you said sorry but we a we a we we don't do that we don't to have we don't have to do that because uh, it's a it's a the same person so the same as he he, he is he can he can do very well uh, uh, hair or in Japan. Yeah, you are like menos menos Yes, or yeah, what they are when doing. you when you assuming uh, that uh, people is are inferior, people are inferior or less. There we go. We underestimate. Yes, underestimate, underestimate their abilities. Yeah. They are the same, you know. They have the same chances, the same abilities. No, great example. Let me see your group number three, right? Yes. The benefit of disability diversity in the workplace okay i really like this topic benefit of disability diversity in the workplace so as you were mentioning yes we don't need to underestimate these people abilities All right you know let me share my experience you know as a teacher you know i had the chance to work with um alphabetization you know to okay. teach how to, uh, adult people how to read and write, right? Alphabetization. So I had the chance to work with um, a, La Alcaldía de San Salvador. They gave me a group of 10 different uh, people, you know, they were all adult. The ages between 40 years old and 60, right? Mm -hmm. And one of them, of my students, she was a blind. You know, okay. in a percentage, right? Podía haber como un, like, 10 or 15 percent, right? Yes. So, you know, I asked for another teacher because she was, you know, uh, getting a hard time in my classes. So, you know what? They sent uh, another teacher. He, he was, um, ¿cómo le llamamos a esto? Para las personas, ¿cómo se llama el, el lenguaje? Braille. Braille, imagine. He was a, a blind teacher as well. And he was so smart. He even had a master degree. No solo la licenciatura, he got a master degree. And I was, you know, really happy to work with this guy, you know, because he was so smart. And yes, I remember that people they sometimes were treating him in a different way like saying hey i'm sorry you know or like talking to him in a different way but why it was normal you know he even uh, was uh, traveling you know from san salvador to san miguel by bus he didn't get lost he knew how to get there how to come back to his house how to come to our workplace, how to use a computer, how to use a cell phone, how to play videos in YouTube as well, you know? So this is what we need to understand, that they are all the same, you know? Or, or they even, um, no quiero decir que son más inteligentes que nosotros, but probably, yes, right? They got different abilities. So why is it important to include or to have 
this type of people at the workplace. This is what I want you to go and discuss with your classmates, okay? So, excellent. It's time to come back to the main room. Vamos, chicos. Let's go back. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Okay, here we go. We only have 20 minutes left, wow. <laughs> Time to come back and to listen to your classmates. So as you may see, we are still missing just 20 minutes, imagine, 20 minutes. It means that we only have Okay, let me wait for your classmates so I can repeat this instruction. <laughs> okay, now you're back. We only have 20 minutes left, so it means that we have like around five minutes for each group. So let me know something. I need you to pick one um, person, volunteer, big thing, I don't know how to want to call it, from each group, so he or she can present what you were discussing, okay. you know, <laughs> in the group, right? So okay. let me have the first one, group number one. In group number one, me, I have... Me, me, teacher. I have David, Doris, Fred, and William. David. David, yes, teacher. Okay, go, please. What are some examples of cultural diversity in the workplace? How can we promote it? I go, please. If we, if we talk about El Salvador, we have. Uh, uh -huh. uh, I was I was talking with the group about uh, uh, we are many. Uh, we have a, a diversity in diversity, uh, ethnicities uh -huh. Uh -huh. in El Salvador, uh -huh. but if we are talking about uh, uh, about uh, another environment, uh, now the the business are uh, globalist are, are global are. Global. Not only in the country that they are, and this they have a diversity. diversity. They they can uh, understand. They can be. If, uh, we have, uh, for example, McDonald's is want to sell hamburger to the Indian guys. Uh, McDonald's need to understand the culture and the best way that they can understand is that be between the 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 people that are Indian. And if they need to know about the Russian, that, that by this time that's as close as Russia, but the, when this conflict is uh, passed away, they need to reopen in, in all of the country. And the, 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 they need to know many, many circumstances. And even though in the, in the in the country, USA, is, they have uh, many people that are clients. They have a uh, Latin people. They have, uh, and uh, if they selling uh, the food to Asian, they need to know that the food in Asian is spicy. Yeah. They need to sell uh, in different circumstances. They, the diversity is uh, important because uh, the business is not only local. Now, yeah, right, it's global. The, I was talking about the atol chuku in Metapan. Okay. Yes, in the past, atol chuku in Metapan was sweet. This is so, 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 so difficult to understand, but it's sweet. And uh, it's uh, they, not, they not put beans, <laughs> they not put beans in the, really in the atol yeah. chuku. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> but, but by this time, they sell both. They sell salty and they sell they sell sweet uh, at Tolchuco, sweet for the local people and for the other people. Salty they, for the recipe. 
Yes, they, they need to understand the needs. And uh, for that reason, it's important the diversity to understand. To understand, the, very Yes, I, I have an experience with uh, people from San Miguel. Mm -hmm. He was in the bathroom and asked me, uh, trae me una paila con agua. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have was, paila, uh, the meaning of paila, right? Yes, paila. Uh, I, was thinking, was size, I don't know. <laughs> but, I don't no, know. Paila I, is I, like, I, yes, it, yes. I, I, I took a, plate, a little right? plate. Uh, and <laughs> paila for, for the people is guacal. Guacal. <laughs> yeah, they, they need that, for that, that sense. And uh, that is uh, the, the need for diversity. I know mm -hmm. I very took good. my five minutes. <laughs> You did actually, you did. It's a great yes. example. It is quite it's, important to. It's like uh, to, yeah. to mm -hmm. say balde and cubeta. Yes, cubeta, yes, right? yes. Something like that, yes. Están bodegas en escuchado. Have you heard? How do they call it? Están <laughs> yes. bodegas. Yeah, how? Tambo cilindro. <laughs> cilindro, chimbo, le dicen chimbo. Chimbo, <laughs> chimbo. <laughs> chimbo. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> So, this is la diversidad. Very good job. Group number two. Thank you so much, David. Vamos a ver. Why is it important to hire people with diverse demographics? ¿Se acuerdan que era demographics, right? Do you remember? Aquí está. Demographics. Gender, age, ethnicity, occupation, seniority. Y ahí estamos. So, group number two. Who is the volunteer? Who is going to present the information? I have Erwin, Francisco, Thelma, and Joseph. Group number two. Okay, teacher. Well, we were talking in the team that demographics is really important because they provide a broad understanding of different characteristics of the population. And this information is really useful for government, for organization, for making a crucial policy of decision concerning the population, right? Well, uh, we mentioned that why is it really important in the workplace? Uh, uh, our partner will mention that it's really important because can determine the family demographics in your workplace, can help you to determine the key issues affecting the, your employees. And this can include an X for more flexibility in your in, in the workplace, for example. Or our, for example, in for healthcare. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is your opinion, class? I agree on that. Why is it important? So, imagine I was giving you like this example. Imagine if we have like this company, and we only have teenagers working in this company. You know, what would that what, sounds what, like a bankrupt waiting to happen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. ¿Qué pasaría? What would happen, you know? ¿Por qué es importante? Why is it important to have? Like this? Because this probably, probably they don't have enough experience. Okay. And that, that's why you need different, you know, different age groups. Okay. Because some uh, the old, uh, elder are wiser and they have more experience. More experience. On solving problems, et cetera. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's why, that's why we need to have different type of people, you know, so they can have like more experienced people, the ones who are still learning, but they have different ideas, you know, so that's why it's important. Great job. Let me see, number three, benefits. Benefits of disability. Que beneficios le vemos? And give me some examples, benefits. Okay. okay. Well, uh... Benefits, uh, disabilities may, it could be a lot of problem, not only physical or, or mental. Is okay. sometimes it could be for ideologies like uh, social ideology, religion. That we we were talking about in uh, all are related to that topic. Yeah. For example, uh, benefits of, of, of uh, disability diversity. Could be uh, the, they all include the companies includes uh, the that 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 per, that person they have a, a bigger pool for their business 
for example, uh, actually, uh, before pandemic, maybe uh, that was uh, more common, for example, when a customer service, uh, when uh, people, for example, uh, deaf people need, need help, if you have uh, people with, with the, with the, with the, for example, sign a language, you can, you can attend uh, very right, uh, right, the right way to the customer. Yeah. Uh, without limit, without limit. For example, you 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 don't have to to ask for, hey, do do you know some employee or a customer agent that have uh, can can speak with saying a language. You you can you have employees with that ability because obviously it's it's a it's co it's an obligation for for commun for communication for for him because they exactly. maybe born in that way, but uh, that is a uh, that is a benefit for it's a, a company you include. Exactly. It it's, is it's a, a benefit. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, in uh, another benefit could be uh, well, you see, so you have a coworker with a, a disability. Sometimes you you change your processes to to help him or her and sometimes the the chains are are better than the 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 way that you did or you made the, the things so that could be a benefit and the the, the is for i i read, I read the mm -hmm. studies that done they said with company with uh, disability diversity uh, has a, a, be, a better profit and the productivity is, be, is better. It's better. Because oh. sometimes that, that, that kind of people is more pro productive. I don't know if it is correct the pronunciation. Yeah, it's or productive, yeah. It's more productive and because they are always for the service of the, of the, of the customer, they, if, even that people sometimes, uh, uh, they want to work more than uh, normal people. Yeah, right. Uh, you know what comes to my mind, maybe most of the time because these people, they have faced a lot of problems, you know, discrimination and all of that, you know, they tend to care about people, you know. For example, if they are in the customer service area, they really care about people because they know, you know, what discrimination is all about right so i do agree so the, it is a benefit it is a benefit for sure how about the last one group number four what are the effects of sexual orientation discrimination ¿Qué pasa si discriminamos? what are the effects in the company of course in el lugar de trabajo of course let me have Group number four. I had in group number four, Genesis, Harbin, Jasmine, and Madden. Who's mm -hmm. gonna? Uh, I, I think uh, what we were discussing about uh, in the workplace, it probably, it, it sometimes uh, hinders or, yeah, it hinders us from actually looking at someone's potential. Because if we discriminate a, a person just because of their sexual orientation, we might not even be able to exploit all their potential. And, and we might be missing out on somebody that is hardworking and really good at, at their job just because we, we discriminated them. Yeah, right. and, and yeah, we were discussing that. And... I don't know, my class, right? So, no. we, were, we were discussing that um, in some other work environments, if you don't feel adequate or because of the discrimination, you don't feel safe or you don't feel accepted, it can lead to uh, mental health issues or insecurities or even fears about your own safety in a workplace. So some people tend to um, avoid certain um, uh, behaviors 
so they can feel more comfortable in their workspace, even though they have to um, modify how they, they will behave normally with in the freedom of any other space right. like for example like in my case for example I work at a law firm mm -hmm. so it's not as as open-minded or free for someone mm -hmm. from the community mm -hmm. to be very open and very uh have their flair of how they are in the day in the day to day at work like it wouldn't care if you're in, in a call center for example when you don't have to interact face to face with somebody else who cares if you go dressed like drag queen the yeah, only thing right. they're gonna care is the no. services you give them so mm -hmm. it's pretty that's part of the things we were discussing mm -hmm. and it evolved in the in a the, in a conversation of of different um elements and different things that uh, the gay community has gone through through time and different aspects of their life. And it's not just the workspace, but life in general as well. Um, there was this, I, I have this friend who came out of his leather closet. His mom kicked him out. So really? he, hasn't, he hasn't spoke to her since then. Um, sometimes they get, uh, they get sent away when they want to like rent an apartment or rent a house because the owner doesn't want somebody like them in their in the, in the house. Imagine. And it's happened to him and to many others as well. So yeah. And it can lead to depression as well. And yeah, I saw and many other social problems like social suicide. Problems, and, you know, yeah, yeah, because well, this is really hard, you know, this is like a topic that most of people nobody wants to confront right because this is a reality you know in El Salvador we haven't learned to deal with this type of people this type of topics you know because sometimes we are still close-minded people you know but yeah I, I'm really sad to hear about that you know Jasmine whenever you say that even you know family they discriminate people and after that, if you go to a workplace, they discriminate you just because of your sexual orientation. And then if you go and look for some friends, you know, from you know, people, they don't even help you or they don't even care about this. So, you know, this has been a very interesting class. I really like to listen to your examples and ideas, right? So probably this is going to help us to make a difference right in our workplaces so i'm going to be checking the attendance list so please say here and present and after that you can leave vamos a ver hoy let me ask bien vamos a pedirle que se quede un ratito diego alejan is diego no i guess diego he was not yeah he's, he's not even anymore he's not here Dora Elizabeth, is she still here? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, Dora, can you please stay just for like five to 10 minutes? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Vamos a ver. Andres Giovanni, Valdivieso Portillo. No. David Samuel. Present teacher. Bye bye, Diego, good night. <laughs> Diego Alejandro, good night to you. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Very good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Génesis de Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Harbin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Okay. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Fritz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velasquez. Madeline Jamilet Molina González. Present teacher. 
Telma Cleotilde Peña Martín. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay, class. So, I'm just going to stay with Doris. The rest of you, yes, quiero ver, ya se cambió el reloj. Si sí, son las 10 en punto. So, you can go right now. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much okay. for coming today. Have See a great tomorrow. night. Good night. Good night to you. See you tomorrow. Guys. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay, hi Doris. How are you, Doris? Bien, 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 right? Yeah. Wow, una sesión de dos horas a veces la podemos sentir corta o larga. You know, yes. in my case, hablar ya dos horas siento acá. I feel it, oh. like, really, right? Yeah. So, yeah. veamos. Eh, ¿Cómo nos sentimos, eh, Doris, en el avanzado dos? ¿Qué necesidades yeah. tenemos para el avanzado dos? ¿Qué reforzamos o qué le gustaría? Que, que cubramos en las clases. Sí, a mí lo eh, me cuesta mucho el speaking. Uh -huh. Sí. Eh, y ten, te, estoy teniendo problemas con internet. Me da la impresión de que alguien está uh -huh. robando el wifi, la señal uh -huh. del wifi. Lo tengo muy lento. Si usted se fija, cuando me voy al grupo, me... Sí, en verdad le cuesta entrar al grupo. Le cuesta entrar y cuando retorno ya hasta ya han discutido. Sí, <risa> entiendo. Sí. ¿Será Pero, Doris sí. no ha revisado su conexión a internet o será que estos días ha fallado bastante? Ah, lo que, mmm, mañana voy a consultar con alguien de compra ah. porque tengo que me aparecen dos, como dos DSN. Ah, ok. Pues. Y eso no lo tenía. Puede ser ¿Y que qué compañía está... es? Con Tigo. Claro, contigo. Ah, sí, está fallando a veces. Sí. Sí, me imagino, porque yo tenía Tigo, ¿sabe? Me tocó incluso cambiar de compañía para poder dar clases, porque no, no, Tigo no me rendía mucho. Me fallaba sí. bastante, más que todo en las épocas de lluvia. Sí. Yo le entiendo. Vamos sí. a hacer algo. Sí, siempre es este, bueno escucharlos y saber qué pasa. Eh, sí, porque a veces he visto que se queda en la sala principal y este, no, me da eh, Exacto. es que no es que me quede sino que sencillamente no se conecta se... Uh -huh. no, no se me conecta. conecta no me conecta al break uh -huh. el break of rooms sí. y cuando retorno y se tarda también se para tarde retorno. verdad sí. vale, vamos a hacer algo si sí, le da problema siempre dígame teacher my internet connection is not working no está trabajando y así tal vez nos podemos quedar las dos acá en la sala principal y empezar a discutir para que no se quede uh -huh sin esa oportunidad, uh -huh. porque sabe que esa es la idea, cuando hacemos los grupos, los breakout rooms, esa sí. es la idea, que hayan más poquitos en el grupo para que todos tengan la misma oportunidad de hablar, de practicar sí. su inglés. Siempre, so, siempre, yeah. es, uh -huh. me ha gustado participar, pero es, me está complicando. El internet. El internet. Ok, ok. Sí. Vaya, con el speaking, dice que le gustaría practicar tal vez más, ¿verdad? To practice sí. more. ¿Sabe? Una forma muy eh, buena o fácil de practicar la pronunciación. Uno, perdámosle el miedo total. Don't be afraid. De eso se trata. Todos estamos aquí en el mismo nivel. Todos. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. So, practice. Hable, hable, hable. Que así se uh -huh. le va quitando el miedo. Escucha a sus compañeros. Ah, él dijo esta expresión en esta manera. Uh -huh. Y vamos memorizándola. Tome apunte, Starry de todo lo que escuche, ah, expresiones nuevas, ah, así es que se dice, ok, o este significado, esta palabra ya se usa en este contexto, si se fija, ahorita estamos utilizando bastante vocabulario, y yo hago que ustedes vayan y obtengan el significado, porque es más fácil que a ustedes ah. se les quede, que memoricen, porque si yo solo voy y brindo la información, lo leo, pero se me olvida, lo sí. opuesto es ir y buscar, y es más fácil identificar vocabulario nuevo. Ajá. Le motivo que usted pueda ir a YouTube y busquemos esto, mire, reading, reading, exercise, reading English, quiero ver, creo que estas son. Aquí está, reading practice, solo ponga reading practice, ah, okay. reading practice, uy, ¿qué pasó? Se salió. 
reading practice. Y si se fija, le da acá este tipo de video. Ah. En el cual usted va escuchando y va leyendo línea por línea. Fíjese que eso le va a ayudar bastante a desenvolverse. Porque usted puede imitar la pronunciación. Sí. E ir leyendo poco a poco. ¿Ok? Y son sí. lecturas de diferentes temas. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Puede aprender vocabulario extra, pronunciación. Puede repetir el video si es necesario. Ponerlo, sí. solo escucharlo esta vez. La primera vez lo leo, la otra vez solo lo escucho. La otra vez yo sola pronuncio. Y mire, uh -huh. hay hasta de tres horas, mire. Diez lecturas diferentes. Sí. 161 son, no solo diez. Así que esa es una de las formas. Uno, perder el miedo. Hable con sus compañeros. Practice and practice and practice. Que así se nos quite el miedo. Dos, uh -huh. eh, tratemos de leer en voz alta. Eso es un buen ejercicio de YouTube. Uh -huh. Y no sé, algo más, algún tema en específico que le gustaría reforzar. Por ejemplo, cuando vemos gramática. Hasta ahorita solo hemos visto un tema de gramática que es los gerunds. Primera uh -huh. clase lo vimos. ¿Qué uh -huh. le gustaría con la gramática? o ¿Cómo se siente con la gramática? Con la gramática siento que me desenvuelvo mejor. ¿Verdad? Ok. Sí. Great. Porque incluso siempre me auxilio a veces. Este, voy a buscar... Páginas en la web de, 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 del tema y, y ya lo entiendo mejor el okay. tema. Ok, so, sí. la gramática no es un problema. Muy bien, Ajá. eso me gusta. Okay. Vaya, en ese caso, igual, a veces quizás el manual del estudiante es muy limitado, nos da poquitos ejercicios, solo para que lo hagamos en la clase. Lo mismo, la plataforma nos da muy poquitos ejercicios o ejemplos sobre el sí. tema que vemos. Entonces, Igual, por ejemplo, si se fija, vimos verbs followed by gerunds, los verbos que le sigue un gerund. Entonces, sí. uno trate de identificar, ah, que cuando escuche sobre ese tema, saber o que se venga a su mente, ah, tengo una idea clara de qué es un gerundio, qué es un gerund. Uh -huh. Es uh -huh. verb o, o la definición. Número sí. dos, tenemos tan dos verbos que le sigue un gerund es una lista grande, entonces uh -huh. lo mismo, motivarla a que los tomemos grupos por grupos esta semana me voy a aprender cinco cinco verbos que le sigue un gerund uh -huh. vaya, identifíquelos haga una oración con cada uno y hasta que lo memoricemos, porque en esa manera usted también está aprendiendo vocabulario y si uno mismo va y crea las oraciones créame que no se le va a olvidar no es lo sí. mismo escucharlas a que yo misma construya mi oración y ya luego puedo utilizarlas en cualquier plática, uh -huh. en cualquier conversación. Eso uh -huh. con la gramática. Y qué bueno que no se sienta eh, que la gramática le cueste porque el inglés tiene tres bases. Uno, la gramática. Dos, el vocabulario. Y uh -huh. la, la parte número tres o la base número tres para el inglés es... Eh, no tener miedo, ¿ok? Que yo sea, que tenga esa confianza en mí mismo, ¿ok? Así que cualquier idioma que yo no quiera aprender tiene esas tres bases, es como una pirámide, ¿ok? Sí. Así que usted ya tiene dos, vamos, perdamos el miedo para que podamos desenvolvernos. Imagine, ya está en avanzado dos y eso sí. es una alegría total. Como sí. le decía, no muchos llegan a este nivel, se van uh -huh. y dicen, no, esto no es para mi parte. You are doing a great job, ¿ok? Sí. ¿Algún otro comentario, algo más que podamos reforzar en la clase? No, no. ¿Verdad? Estamos bien. Estamos bien. So, Estamos bien. Estamos bien. Gracias, eh, Doris, por quedarse un ratito conmigo. Pero, Tal vez sí, solo ver eso del internet para que se sienta sí. tranquila en la hora de la clase, que no se sienta Ajá. con ese con problema. Vida. Sí, porque mm. el internet, muchos, si se fijan, no, no pueden encender cámara por lo mismo. Sí. Uh -huh. Los horas de clase como afecta bastante sí. el consumo de internet a veces. Algunos están sí. con datos en el teléfono. Uh -huh. Pero entonces, thank you, Taris. Cualquier cosa, uh -huh. pregúntela durante la clase que ahí estamos para ayudarle. ¿okay? Uh -huh. Gracias. So, great night. Have a great night. See you tomorrow, Taris. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Bye-bye to you.